Let's discuss. Hey everyone, it's Rachel back again with another video, not a normal type of video. This will be me unboxing Gatherers with their album Mutilator. This was an album I didn't really have on my radar last year in terms of my top five that ended at my number three and I have just been obsessed with this album. So I wanted to do a quick unboxing video. I haven't really done one of these in a while. I figured why not? I bought a variant of the record because why wouldn't I? Uh, and I have it here. So that is what this video will be. I'm going to stop talking. We're going to get straight into it. So I have it here and I'm going to go ahead and open it up, which I will probably cut from the film so you don't have to listen to me struggle with scissors and a box. We didn't have to struggle that hard for once. <laughs> the variant that I got for this record is Cataract White, which uh, is a lyric from one of their tracks, so uh, I loved that. Had to buy it. I was gonna buy it anyway. It's limited to 300 presses of it. Uh, you can, there's a sticker on there, but you would likely won't be able to see that but it, that's all it says is limited pressing 180 gram cataract white out of 300 so I will keep that sticker once again I'm gonna cut through the uh, shrink so I will probably cut this out of the video so you also don't have to listen to that okay we're out of the shrink it looks to be gatefold Go photo of bands. What is that? Comes with this little book. Oh, it's the lyric book. So this is like a little. I love the lyrics on this album too. Uh, so. It's really hard for me to pick a favorite track, but lyrically, 12 Omaha Solemn Certainty, which is the closer on this album, is one of, you know, one of the most emotive, uh, incredibly powerful songs I've heard in so long. Uh, so that would be up there, Tourniquet for Luck, A Last Day's Numbered on a Rotary Dial. Um, those are all, like, it's Black Marigold, Honey on the Morrow. These are all tracks that are just so stand out to me. It's just such a neat album. Uh, with with a huge sound to it. So this is the lyric book that comes inside, which <laughs> I don't use autofocus, so uh, forgive me. There you go, Mutilator. Uh, it just says on the front, and then it goes through uh, and has the songs uh, with the lyrics. Ooh, Ad nauseum, I drown is a, one of my favorites, and also has like a live photo you can see here with this one. Uh, so a really cool photo lyric booklet uh, to go with a wonderful album. I'm excited about that. Here, I'll take a look at it. I'll take a look at the actual record. I always cover the mic with it. Ooh. Oh, wow. Very nice production on this. So you can see live photo type of deal. Very nice, very different. And then this is the 180 gram cataract whites, a clear variant, uh, but very creatively named as well. Uh, this is a record, like I mentioned, uh, that I just ended up absolutely loving. I've still been revisiting and revisiting. This feels very. Sorry, I got excited. I thought there was like something. Yeah, it's very thick uh, to protect the record, which is good. That's what you want. And again, yeah, okay. Track list on the back, of course. I love the album art on this. Red is my favorite color, so most like counterparts, a eulogy for those still here. This record uh, with a lot of red on the front are very uh, visually pleasing to me. But me later. Such a great record. Uh, like I mentioned, I named like all of the tracks. If it really came down to picking favorites, I think that 
I would pick a top three and I would pick Honey on the Morrow, At Nausea My Drowned, and 12 Omaha Solemn Certainty has to be up there as you heard everything I said about it. But it's so difficult to pick favorites and I feel like it can really be one of those things that, uh, or one of those records where your favorite varies so much depending upon mood and stuff. Uh, but huge hooks on this, a really nostalgic feel in a lot of um, the delivery and some of, I guess, the, the almost influence you can hear, it's nothing straightforward, it very much just sounds like gathers to me, but um, there are aspects of it where you're like, oh wow, uh, but it's just such a fresh take on that sound for me. I I will be listening to this record for an incredibly long time, so uh, gathers, mu gatherers, mutilator, unboxing video, I just wanted to make sure to do this and kind of shout the record out because I, I adore it, so... Uh, thank you very much for watching. All links will be in the description for gatherers, promotionals, uh, their social media links, all of that good stuff. I'm not sure if there were any left of this variant, uh, but if there are, I will link it in the description. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, Patreon link, Discord uh, invitation, and Instagram. All the promotional stuff is in my link tree in the description. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.